fractured tooth or a broken crown, many of us blame the material or grinding or any of the other factors or even our dentist for the fact that something broke. But in reality, most of the time, it's a CR to MIP slide. So check out this video to explain why especially posterior teeth break and why crowns break or fall off. Lower jaw works and we just consider them muscles. But we take away the masseter and the temporalis for a minute and just focus on the relationship of the condyle, the head of the condyle, with the articular disc seated in the glenoid fossa and the lateral pterygoid muscle. So as we open and close, the lateral pterygoid muscle has to contract to help us come forward. So you can see that the lateral pterygoid muscle is responsible for pulling and bringing the condyle down and the disc, and then also balancing and stability. So if we zoom in on just the teeth and take a look at the normal relationship of what we expect to do when we chew or when we open and close, you can see that we expect to open and close on our teeth and open and close. Some people, when they open for extended period of time and then they go to close, they hit in the back first and then they have to slide forward in order to really get their teeth to touch. So now let's take a look at that relationship with the muscle. The lateral pterygoid muscle has to contract in order to bring the teeth forward in those people. So when we open and the lateral pterygoid muscle is holding us in that position, a good way to test if there is a discrepancy or a difference between maximum intercuspation and essentially a seated position of the condyle is to use a leaf gauge. So we place the leaf gauge between the teeth, we have the person slide forward, slide back, hold that position for a bit, and then we get them to open and we remove the leaf gauge. And if they close on the posterior teeth first, it means that the lateral pterygoid stretched and relaxed, and now they're hitting only in the back. Some people are able to slide themselves back into position, but not everybody. So they start to wear their posterior teeth. So you start to go forward and back and grinding them away. So you'll see wear on the posterior teeth or fractures. And this is very typical of, of people who break a, a molar or a cusp of a molar. You're gonna see that there's a lot of wear on those teeth. So the lateral pterygoid is contra contracted in MIP, maximum intercuspation. Now let's say that you decide to put a crown on, on one of those patients and they've been open for some time and you place the crown and then they go to close and they're hitting on that back tooth only. And then you either have to adjust it and sometimes adjust too much and you have no room or sometimes you won't realize it's happened and they're gonna go slide forward and back, forward and back and break the crown. So if you're ever prepping a first or second molar, Take a look and see if there is a CR to MIP slide, just in case, so that you can talk to the patient and let them know what's going on and maybe prep yourself as well, because you are going to have that condyle seat a little bit more. Good luck. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.